Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. The last exercise in the introductory portion of MIPS programming is a loop which is uh, a, a very important thing to learn how to do. Um, let me pull it up and let me show you what I want you to do. And this is uh, exercise number three. Write a small program to query the user for an integer. I want you to validate this number and make sure the integer is just greater than zero. And use that number as the number of times to print out hello world. So it's an example of how to do a loop. And it's really, really straightforward to do. So we're going to write this program. I've got some messages up here already. Enter in a number greater than zero. And I've deviated from my standard. And instead of saying message one, message two, I've kind of given them meaningful names. Hello, error. You'll also notice, too, I've, I have a convention that the ASCII messages are all in uppercase. So that's, that's something else I like to do. It's not necessary. I just like to do it. Do mean the first thing I'm going to do is print out the message to ask the user. So that's uh, v04. We know that load address a0 message one, and then print the message out. Syscall. All right. Now we're going to read in the number. Uh, since I may do this over and over again, I'll just uh, put my label right there. And it doesn't have to be test. It can be any word you want to use, as long as it's unique. Uh, five and v0 says read in an integer. I'm going to read in the integer and then I'm going to move it to a register and it is in V0. Okay. I'm going to test that number now. I'm going to use a pseudo instruction of uh, uh, branch on less than or equal to 0. If S1 is less than or equal to 0, it will go to bad n. Again, it's a standard label I use. You can name it anything you want to. Okay. Now we're going to go to the top of our loop. Right here is where we're going to start printing out hello world. Uh, because if we've made it to this point, then we pass that test that our number is greater than zero. It's one or larger. So we're going to print out the hello world that number of times. I didn't test the upper end, but we'll assume we're not going to be unreasonable about the number that we enter. All right. So we're going to load in the message, uh, hello world. Okay. We're going to print it out. So we printed it out once, and now what we want to do is we want to decrement our counter, which is in S1. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, I can either decrement it, in other words, take the number and keep subtracting from it until I get to zero, or I can save the number and I can have a counter that is zero and add one to it and keep doing it until they're both equal or the one is greater than or equal. I've chosen to decrement since I don't have to print out the counter. I'm just going to decrement. It's the easiest thing to do. So what add uh, immediate unsigned is going to do is it's going to subtract one from that number we entered in. And I'm going to test it to see if it's uh, greater than zero. If it's greater than zero, I'm going to go back up and I'm going to continue to print out hello world. So BGTZ is you know, BGTZ is branch on greater than zero. If S1 is greater than zero, it will go back to top L and it will print out hello world again. Okay. If not, then we're done with our program and we're just going to say stop it. Down here in bad N, which is a place where we come if we have a bad number, I'm going to print out the error message, load immediate into V0 with four. Uh, load address a0 with uh, error okay. syscall I print the message out and now all I do is uh, I, I jump to test and I can jump or do it so it'll go back up to test so here's the way the program is going to work I'm going to come in and I'm going to print out a message that says please enter in a number then I'm going to read it in okay. if that number is less than zero what it's going to do is it's going to come down and it's going to execute this code. Once it's executed, it will branch up back to test here. 
and it will read in that number again and it will continue to do that until I get a good number once I've got a good number it will fail this test and it will come down in here and do the loop it'll print out hello world it'll subtract one from the number we read in and it will test it if that number is greater than zero it will continue to go back up here and print out the message when it's done, when it is zero, it'll fall out and it will execute JR dollar sign RA, which starts our program. So let's see if this works. Okay. Reinitialize and load file. Open up. Okay. Syntax error right before I jump test. This is called test. No, I think it's I gotta use a lowercase j right there. Forgive me for that. Say Yep, that was it. Alright, so let's run it. Simulator. Run and continue. So let's uh, enter in a, a non a less than zero, minus two. Okay. Okay, let's enter in another one. Minus one hundred. Okay. Finally, let's go ahead and enter in, let's see, 25. And there it prints out Hello World 25 times. Very good. All right, well, that's an example of how to do a simple loop in a uh, MIPS programming. The only um, variation on this, instead, instead of counting down, I can count up. Uh, if I do that, I have to have a separate register that keeps track of the counter, and I preserve S1, and I keep it to compare it against two. Um, well, I count up whenever I actually have to print out the number of times. So if I wanted to say one, hello world, two, hello world, I, I would do it in that manner. And that might be a, a, a variation of this exercise that you might want to try too. Hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to doing the next one. Uh, have a good day.